We got docked again, you guys. Look. This is okay. You guys, check out how cool this duck is. I think this one's hand painted. They hand painted this duck. That's pretty cool. Who did this? There's, there's no name, but how cool is this? All right. Day two has begun. We haven't really done a whole lot because it is raining outside. Pretty Joys of living in Florida or being here. Um, breakfast time. Breakfast time. Whoever ducked us, thank you. Thank you. We got it. It's awesome. <laughs> we are getting ready to go to One Daytona to hang out with some of the vendors and stuff like that because they said we should be going down there and we have like 40 minutes so I gotta see where the girl's at. Girl? Yeah? How are you? I'm in the shower. You have, you have 40 minutes. That's not a lot of time. 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. Always waiting on girl. Camera lens all foggy. All right, hurry up. Hey. Hey, good looking. You ready? Hi. <laughs> you ready? What time is it? How long did this take you? It's 6 11. Oh man. It took you an hour and 11 minutes. I had to shave my legs. You did good. And I've had to put my makeup on. <laughs> All right. Let's get down to one day, Jonah. We are back in our element, as you guys can see, our JT, which is awesome. But we're on our way to one day, Jonah. We're going to meet up with some friends over there and uh, enjoy the event. And hopefully, there's some good eats. We've heard that there are. But before we do that, my hair so I'm gonna let you guys go but I'll see you there well we're here and so is everybody else there are a lot of Jeeps here I have never seen so many Jeeps in one place this is our first big like Jeep event that we've gone to and I'm stoked to see all of the rigs and to be able to talk to all of you guys but yeah you guys were here sand and beach but it's pretty neat. <laughs> so when you have to pee and you're at an event like this you normally look for signs on the wall like like that one although that one says vending so then we were expecting vending machines am I missing something what are you, what are you trying to do in our pursuit to find the bathroom there was a convenient map for like two seconds up here and there's three panels so it switched to this, and then it switched oh, to another it one. Right here. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> nope. This one hasn't even moved yet. This is the one. I'm gonna wait for it. Are you wait for it? Yeah. Now it's going around the corner. No, the other way. There. <laughs> Quick. Okay, here's what I don't understand. So the bathrooms are right here next to Jeremiah's ice cream. Jeremiah's ice cream's right there, and we already established that those are not bathrooms, it's, those are vendors. It's coming. We have to I think we just gotta find it ourselves. Florida pays some mad tricks on people over here. <laughs> we found the bathrooms. However, they are as far away from all of the shops, and there's a vending machine. But the bathrooms are like, Way far away. They mean, they mean business. Yeah, they do. There's so many noises here. I don't even know how much the mic's gonna pick up. We have an awesome mic, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. But for those of you wondering what it's like out here, G Beach, is it worth it? What's it like? Well, first of all, it's a lot of chaos and a lot of Jeepers who love their rigs. A lot of fun. A lot of truck, a lot of Jeeps. Yeah. But um, there's something to do every night, and it's just a really cool opportunity to socialize and meet different people and kind of see some built rigs. All right, time to order. Hi. All right. Yeah. Hey, what'd you get for dinner, baby girl? I got pizza. I've been wanting pizza for two weeks now. 
So I always like finding hole in the wall pizza places. Although this is actually a really nice restaurant, so I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be great. And you, we're at Tiana's. I had to look, but it's like a formal Italian place. But I think their pizza looked really good, so I'm getting that. Some of you guys have asked what we film with. We actually film with the Canon R6, one of the best investments we have ever made as far as like creativity and film because this camera is amazing. We had a camera before um, that Greg got rid of. It was an accident. So don't put your camera gear on top of your tires if you have a truck because there's a high probability if you're Greg, you'll run them over. And that's what happened in our last one. So we had a Panasonic. Um, it was okay. We used it. It was a good starter camera, and we used it for all of the videos before I think like November. <laughs> but now we have an epic camera and a pretty good setup, I'd say. Yeah, it's definitely fun to film the Jeep stuff with this. I mean, like, look at the quality. You can like we have MB MB Quartz Gladiator right there. The other Jeep, some Jeeps that are parking on top of Jeep, and then micro you. It's also really dark right now, but you would never know that. So the sun's going down, there's really not much light left in the sky. We have the light surrounding, and this camera is amazing yeah, I mean, in like, low look. light. I, it's, it's astounding. <laughs> Good time. It's a Viking. Yes. Um, no one specific. <laughs> but thank you. Well, that wraps up the second day of Jeep Beach. Tomorrow we're going to be out on the beach as much as we can, as long as it doesn't rain. I hope you guys join us for that. But if you guys like this video, the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notifications for any of our new videos coming out. So. See you guys in the next video.